Hello on guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back, and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I want to talk a little bit about a story that broke yesterday out of Dallas, Texas. Shout out Dallas. And uh, it's a strange case of uh, domestic abuse, but it's a sad one as well. You see this woman up here? This lady's name, may she rest in peace, is Isis Ag Agar. Agar. And she was 51 years old. This woman me recently moved to Dallas two years ago to be with this guy. Stephen Selman, age 61. For a second, I thought he was Aerie Spears. My bad. This dude right here took her life and is currently locked up. Now, this happened in June 26th of this year. Why is this making news now? Because he just got caught. Now, I'm going to let you look at this video and the brutality this man showed this woman at 61 years of age is astonishing. He showed this woman no mercy and in court he should receive no mercy either. Take a look at this story and we'll get back and do what we do. Dallas police say a man beat his girlfriend to death, skipped town, and then claimed that he was drugged and being framed for her murder. Witnesses say they heard arguing actually the night before it happened. Fox Force Peyton Yeager spoke with the victim's sister who says that she was traumatized, as we can imagine. Peyton. Heather, and the victim's name is Isis Adger, and her family tells me that she moved here to Dallas about two weeks ago, uh, sorry, two years ago. They didn't really know much about the suspect, but they slowly became suspicious because they stopped hearing from her. A locked apartment off Haskell Avenue with the letter L remains empty. Dallas police say 51-year-old Isis Adger was murdered by her boyfriend, Stephen Selman, at their old East Dallas apartment. This was fabric that was in her apartment. Adger's sister, Makia Adger, lives in Florida. She came to Dallas to pick up her sister's belongings. And even after seeing the apartment, the condition of the apartment it, it, is, it tra is traumatizing. According to an arrest warrant affidavit Fox 4 obtained on Wednesday, police found Adger on the floor with blunt force trauma on June 26th. Earlier that day, Selman called 911 to report Adger's death, but told dispatch he was being framed. Selman, who's a truck driver, then immediately left town. New details from the arrest paperwork describe the bloody scene, saying, quote, a broken bedpost was possibly used to commit the offense. Makia believes this was a case of domestic violence. I said, I don't, I don't like, you know, what's happening here. And I don't think this is a good person. During the investigation, a Dallas detective was made aware of an incident between Adger and Selman a month before the murder. Adger was arrested for allegedly punching Selman. When Selman was questioned by police, he claimed he was drugged with Visine and blamed two men who lived downstairs. However, Selman couldn't articulate that anyone else had been in the apartment. He was arrested and booked into jail two weeks later. He took a wonderful, beautiful human, very exceptional human, um, from you know from the earth for for very selfish reasons and heather witness accounts were also in the arrest warrant affidavit that we obtained today people who live in that dallas apartment complex told police that they heard arguing the night before the murder and then immediate silence we also ran a search this evening and the suspect does have a criminal history including family family violence charges and also a previous aggravated assault with a deadly weapon charge Guys, that was a uh, video of uh, this situation with this guy, Stephen Selman. And uh, I want to read the uh, news article that has a little bit more information about what happened in that apartment. So brace yourselves. And the story reads as follows. The title is Dallas man charged with girlfriend's murder after apartment found with blood from floor to ceiling. Documents say. Dallas police say man beat his girlfriend to death, skipped town and then claimed he was drugged and being framed for her murder. Witnesses say they heard arguing tonight, it happened, and then complete silence. On the afternoon of June 6th, Stephen Selman 
age 61, called 911 and told them his girlfriend of two years, 51-year-old Isis Adgar, appeared to be dead, according to her arrest warrant affidavit. Salman told dispatchers that he woke up, saw his girlfriend, and ran from his apartment because he claimed he was being framed for murder. He later told 911 that he had left the city and was in Kansas City for his job as a truck driver. Police went to the apartment on North Haskell Avenue in Old East Dallas and found Adgar, Adgar Ager dead with severe bruises and other injuries to her face. The arrest warrant affidavit says officers saw a large amount of blood splatter from the floor to the ceiling on the bedroom walls. Police also found a broken bedpost they say was, the po was possibly used to commit the offense. Neighbors told police they had heard a loud argument the night before. Selman claimed he was asleep on the night of the killing and that he woke up to find Adgar beaten and bloody in the bathroom. He told police he had tried to clean up some of the blood and moved her into the living room. Selman then told police he believed his drink had been spiked with Visine and that his downstairs neighbors may have broken in and committed the crime according to the documents. Police arrested Selman, 61, and charged him with Adgar's murder. Adgar's sister, Micaiah Adgar, came to Dallas from Florida to pick up her sister's belongings. Even after seeing the apartment and the condition of the apartment, it is traumatizing, she said. Micaiah believes that this was a case of domestic violence. I said, I don't like what is happening here, and I don't think this is a good person, she said. During the investigation, a Dallas detective was made aware of the incident between Agar and Selman a month before the murder. Agar was arrested for allegedly punching Selman. He took a beautiful human. He took a wonderful, beautiful human, exceptionally human from the earth for his selfish reasons, Micaiah said. Selman is currently in the Dallas County Jail where he is being held on half a million dollars bond. All right, guys, that's the story of what happened. This uh, lady, Isis Adgar, may she rest in peace. And Stephen, Stephen Selman, 61 years old, dumb as hell. They spiked my drink. I was asleep when she got killed. They said this woman was beat so badly. Blunt force trauma to the head and face. You didn't hear that? To make blood splatter shoot up on the roof, you got to be hitting somebody pretty hard and you got to be hitting using an object that you have to swing for the blood to fly up like that. He called, my wife is dead. I'm going to work in Kansas City. Or he claimed he was in Kansas City for a job, skip time. My neighbors downstairs spiked my drink. I was out. They must have did the crime. Come on, man. Come on. And I'm not being funny, man. If you look at these two pictures of these people, maybe that's a bad picture of him or a bad pose or something. But sometimes people don't even look like they belong together. It, it make me think, what is the commonality that brought these two people together? Do you ever think about stuff like that? When you see these type of Domestic violence cases, well, just any case, what was it that made both of these people say, I'm going to take a chance on each other? Because she moved from where she was at, gave up everything to come and live with this guy. And you've seen that shit ass apartment. Sister said, hey, I don't like this at all. Last month, supposedly, or, or, or the month before that, before this happened. She punched him in the face. And that's one of the things I'm going to tell you. A lot of people that be in abusive relationships. It ruins them. This woman, 51 years old. With a 61 year old man, right? In an abusive relationship. If they broke up, she would have to detox herself from all of that stuff she was dealing with. With him. 
so on and so forth. But think about that. This guy, woman gave up everything to come stay with him and he killed her. They tried to blame it on some other people downstairs or upstairs or wherever. I moved her and cleaned up the blood. They called the police when you was gone and you thought that story was going to stick. Fam, you sound stupid. Just as stupid as you look in this picture. Either way, man, I mean, they got him. I don't know why he got bond because this woman died brutally. And I'm sure they offer him a deal. He already willing to tell on people that ain't got nothing to do with it because his fam, his plan was full of holes, his story. But I mean, either way, man, this is messed up, man. You don't do somebody like that that you love or somebody that made sacrifices. This woman made a sacrifice to leave everything she had to have a better life with you. You fool. And you didn't do all you could to give her a better life and build with her. Of course, she gave up everything and got nothing in return. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Take care.